Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to properly install your Skyhopper aerial unit. This installation process is relevant both for Skyhopper Pro and for Skyhopper 1. Before we get started, I'm just going to show you a few of the necessary elements. You have your Skyhopper unit. You'll notice that the aerial unit is marked with an A. Two 2 DVI antennas with MMCX connectors. A standard serial data cable. An Ethernet cable and a power cable. If you're using Pixoc, you may also purchase uh, an accessory that is a RS-232 cable attachment, and you may also purchase a GPS antenna from our website. Finally, in order to secure your unit to the drone and to secure any loose cables, cable ties are recommended, and you might also want to use double-sided heat-resistant tape. A few things to take into consideration when locating your unit on the drone. First of all, make sure your location has sufficient airflow and is in a protected place. Second of all, make sure there's easy access to installation, maintenance, and testing of your unit. And finally, make sure that the fan intake and air outtake is not blocked. Let's get started. Let's have a closer look at our unit. Starting with the front connector side, you have a power in connector, a status LED, a multi-function button, a data LED, a micro USB port, an RS-232 port, and an Ethernet. Now if we look at the side, you'll notice that we have two RF antenna connectors and one GPS connector. Attach your Skyhopper unit in a manner that will be compatible with your drone, and then you can go ahead and attach the antennas. You'll first attach the cable into the unit itself, and then we'll attach the antenna to the drone. We've chosen to use cable ties and a uh, customized mount, however you may do whatever suits your drone, whether it's cable ties, building a mount, or attaching it in another way. When you attach your antennas, make sure that they are at least two inches apart from one another, that they're perpendicular to the ground, and that they're away from any RF emitting, metal, or carbon objects. Now that we've connected the antennas, we can go ahead and connect the rest of the cables. First thing we're going to do is connect the Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable can then be connected to any IP camera or IP device of your choosing. Next, we're going to connect the RS-232 serial data cable to the unit. Again, if you're using a Pixoc flight computer, make sure to connect the additional accessory to the data cable and then to the Pixoc flight computer itself. Finally, we're going to connect the power cable. The power cable can then be connected on the other end to a battery, a battery or power source. And once it's connected, you'll see that the LED lights are flashing. At the same time, you can also connect the IP camera and you'll see the data LED light flashing. <laughs> 